Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Saturday, March 21st. It's the fourth week of Lent and the scripture for this service. Psalm 107, verse 33 to 48, and Psalm 108, and Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 9 to 15. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 66 to the tune of New Britain. Sing all you nations to our God, sing with a joyful voice, with melody of sound record, God's honors and your joy. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. God turns the rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. Psalms 107 and 108, and please recite them together with me. God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness because of the wickedness of them that dwell there. God turns the wilderness into a pool of water, and water springs from dry ground, and there God makes the hungry dwell, that they may prepare a city in which to live, and sow the fields and plant the vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. And God blesses them so that they are multiplied, and did not let their cattle herds decrease. They are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. God pours contempts upon rulers and makes them to wander in the wilderness. And yet God frees the poor from affliction and multiplies their families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, but all iniquity shall shut her mouth. And those who are wise will observe these things. They shall know the loving kindness of God Most High. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the peoples, and I sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth that your beloved may be delivered. Save me with your right hand and answer me. In your holiness you have spoken. I will rejoice and divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh too. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom I cast my shoe. Over Philistia I will triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, who has cast us off, go forth with our armies? Give us help from our trouble, for vain is the help of mere mortals. Through you we shall do valiant deeds, for it is you that shall tread down our enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God turns rivers into a wilderness and the springs of water into dry ground. A lesson from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, beginning at verse 9. Concerning the prophets, my heart is crushed within me. All my bones shake. I have become like a drunkard like one overcome by wine, because of the Most High, and because of his holy words. For the land is full of adulterers, because of the curse the land mourns, and the pastures of the wilderness are dried up. Their course has been evil, and their might is not right. Both prophet and priest are ungodly. Even in my house I have found their wickedness, says the Most High. And therefore their way shall be to them like slippery paths in the darkness, 
into which they shall be driven and fall. For I will bring disaster upon them in the year of their punishment, says the Most High. In the prophets of Samaria, I saw a disgusting thing. They prophesied by Baal and led my people Israel astray. But the, in the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen a more shocking thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evildoers so that no one turns from wilderness wickedness. And all of them have become like Sodom to me and its inhabitants like Gomorrah. Therefore, thus says the Most High of hosts concerning the prophets, I am going to make them eat wormwood and give them poisoned water to drink. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, ungodliness has spread throughout the land. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church in the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John and for all the leaders of this nation, city and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us forth, O beloved God, into your kingdom, and deliver us from all our troubles, for we sing your praises in Jesus' name. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church, and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.